Morning. Holly not up yet? No, I haven't seen her. Will you get out of my way? Mark. Mark, wait! Well, you won't find anything about Sean and Kane in there. You'll have to wait till tomorrow's paper. No, I'm not after gossip. This is research, my sweet. Bob Hope does not stay unemployed for long. You know, I always say that when one door slams in your face, a little window opens somewhere you can sneak out of. Well, I know a position that's available. Small but steady income, opportunity to meet people and a very lovable boss. Would this be a retail opportunity in a village shop? Sounds just right for you, Bob. Yeah, thanks, Donna. But I have a feeling that two strong personalities such as yours and mine, my sweet, shouldn't be cooped up together in a working environment. What do you mean, cooped up? Well, you can work here while you're job hunting, then. Yes. So that's agreed. You get those papers sorted and I'll get you a coffee. Mark, please, just listen to me for a moment. Why should I? When your dad left, you know what a state I was in. I was in pieces. And Kane came along, it was what I needed at the time. It was just a fling that got out of hand. Kane is a psycho and he hates us, but you got involved with him. That means everything that happened last night is down to you. I've done everything I can to protect you and Ollie. No, you haven't. You've done what you wanted without a thought for either of us. Please, Mark. Kane's the villain here, not me. If you're against me as well, I don't know if I can cope. Tough. Wait, just a minute. Do you know where Ollie is? I don't think she came home last night. I think you'll be lucky if she ever comes back. Thank you for putting me up. No problem. We are a bit cramped. Can't go home. What's happened? I thought my mum and dad were getting back together. My mum was playing happy families, making us think that everything was all right. And then all that time she was having an affair with Kane Dingle. Are you sure? Yeah. You should go home, talk to her, let her tell you her side of the story. There's only one side to the story. Oh, come on, at least let her talk to you. You don't get it. She's your mum. She loves you. I get that part. No, she doesn't love me. Is there something that you're not telling us? All right. I slept with Kane too. I slept with him and all that time my mum was seeing him. You slept with Kane? Don't tell anyone, all right? Of course we won't. That's why I can't go home. Oh, she must hate me to do what she did. No. And I hate her. I hope I never see her again. I expect Sean looks as bad as you, does he? I got a mark on him. I don't think I understand. That lad of mine has got a bit of cunning. Sean's gonna get charged with assault, isn't he? So he finds out his wife's playing away with his worst enemy, and it's him that gets in trouble with the coppers. I reckon our butch will rest a bit easier tonight. I told you the Reynolds would pay, didn't I? Man, you, you might have been a bit hasty. What are you going on about? Well, we could have used Angie a bit before you blew the old thing up. Imagine a chain copper on your side. That's a wasted opportunity, is that? See, I'm not bothered in little scams. I'm not on about little scams. We could have dreamed up something really big. I'm interested in finishing off that family. Oh, well, you've certainly done that, haven't you? Oh, yeah, please be yourself. It's not over yet. I've sorted Sean. Angie's next. Don't feel cooped up, do you? I was just wondering whether we might be slightly guilty of overmanning. Oh, you see, that's where you're showing your inexperience. Suppose someone comes in wanting a newspaper just when someone else comes in wanting the post office. Eh? Hmm? Hello, Mr. Hope. <sighs> this is getting ridiculous. What is it? One small shop, three staff. What is wrong with this picture? Bob is joining our happy team, Emily. Oh. Or on a temporary basis. Oh. What I do now is redeploy my human resources. You know, I could really take to this. I could see myself organising staff of 50, 100. In here? <laughs> Emily, post office. Bob, sales. What are you going to do, Mrs Orp? Well, I'll supervise. And you can get rid of that for a start. Hold your horses. Naughty Nylons adds value to any retail environment. It lends a touch of class, just a whiff of glamour. That old sales pitch doesn't cut any ice with me. 
I'll move it myself at lunchtime. Just now, though, I think the three of us ought to settle into an efficient team ready to deal with our customers, right? Right. Right. Cup of tea, anyone? Yeah? Dad. It's Dad. What's picking up? All oh, right. Yeah, we'll come down. Are you all right? Then what am I going to do? Nothing, if you're wise. You want to just stand back and let it all sink in for a bit? I can't. I feel like everything I care about is moving away from me. <sighs> He's been charged and released on police bail. We're going to go and get Sean. Right. Not you. No. Probably not a good idea. Go on, son. No. Guess not. Nice, isn't it? Just the two of us having a drink. Yeah. Without any blokes complicating it. Who needs them, eh? Exactly. Have you seen Chris lately? Don't think anyone has. You worried about him? No. No, I was just wondering what he's up to, that's all. Maybe you should go and see him. I don't think I'd get much of a welcome, do you? Talk to me. What? Talk to me. I am talking to you. <laughs> no. What's up with you? Scott's coming. I don't want to think I'm missing him. All right. You all right? Well, I'll see you then. See ya. What's that? She was waiting for me to apologise. Well, I'm not going to. I told you, I've got nothing to apologise for. For a fairly bright bloke, you can be very thick, can't you? Are you missing him? No. And even if I was, I won't go chasing after him. Of course not. Who needs him? Exactly. Actual bodily harm, so what does that mean? It's one down from GBH. It means it didn't hit him as hard as I thought. So what's next? I can't face people yet. Right, that little pub. When no one knows us, a bit of lunch and then back home. I'm not going home. I'm not going to Annie's cottage. Morning, lads. Sorry, can't chat. Sean, you've done enough. Hi, hey, mate. I'm here to make a complaint against one of your lot. Sergeant Angela Reynolds. Right, Mr Dingle. Sorry to keep you waiting. But you want to put this off as long as possible? On the contrary. I take complaints against my officers very seriously. Good. Which is why they have to be plausible and supported by clear evidence. No problem there. I can give you chapter and verse. So why have you only come in now? Why didn't you give us this information yesterday? I've been keeping a low profile. I scared of Sean. He really worked you over, didn't he? It's funny. I'd have thought you could look after yourself. Well, usually I can. But he's a big, tough lorry driver. He's got a major problem with me. Which is? I've been sleeping with his wife. Yeah. Angie Reynolds and me. It's a shocker, isn't it? Just a bit of a flash in the pan, was it then, the fancy knickers? Too vulgar for this shop. I see. Uh, any more progress on the mystery of your missing head? Simple mistake. Uh, she was quite a looker, though, wasn't she? The lady they used to replace you. Um, just a little bit more useful. Right, that's it. I'm not telling you the news. What news? Reduced to manual labour now, are you, Bob? It's not ideal for you, really, is it? It's, it's a bit of a change, yes, I'll admit. But it's, uh... Well, it's... Yeah? It's a new endeavour for me. There you are. Oh, it doesn't sound very enthusiastic. Uh, what's this news? 
Only the biggest. This village has heard for a long time. Bob's thrilled to be working with me, aren't you, Bob? To the marrow. Viv! What's the news? Oh, all right. Sean only flattened Cain because Cain has been sleeping with Angie. No! I saw the whole thing. Oh. I really don't think it's anything to be pleased about. No. No, you're quite right, Emily. I really must ash. She won't find anyone to tell. I reckon the whole village knows, thanks to me. And don't you say a word. It's my duty to keep people informed. What I don't understand, though, is how he managed to keep it quiet all this time. He's got a sneaky side that I never knew about. He has that. <laughs> got to admire him, though. I don't admire him. Sam, that's probably because you're jealous, eh? Fair enough. But the truth is, this is out of your league. Kane's not so clever. I followed him one day and I found out. See? I'm sneaky enough. That's right. You knew about this, didn't you? You knew and you didn't tell me. Now, Zach. Well, it, it's one thing for Kane to keep his love life quiet, but when it's out, it's Dingle family business. And that means it comes to me. I think you're being unreasonable. I'm head of the family! Oh, stop your ranting. I knew too. You what? And you kept it to yourself? This is nothing to do with us three. It's between Kane and the Reynolds. How did you find out? Angie told me. I don't believe this. My whole family's talking behind me back and ignoring me. We wasn't talking behind your back. I don't matter a damn now, do I? Look, Zach! I don't matter! It all started with a call to the Subdens farm. So she was on duty? Yeah. Half the time she was seeing me, she was on duty. I'll be checking all the dates you give me. Check away. Times, places. No, my job. Were there any witnesses to your meetings? Of course not. She said she'd lose her job if anyone found out about us. I mean, it doesn't look very good, does it? Her jumping in bed with me when she's meant to be making the streets a safe place. What else can you tell me? Remember back in January? Your lot were called out to the woolly. Lady Tara said Angie had hit her. I remember. No one backed up Lady Tara's story. Oh, I'm backing up now. I lied then because of my feelings for Angie. She smacked her, knocked her over. She's got a violent streak. Same as her husband. The truth is, she's been way out of control for some time now. Oh, I'm surprised you're showing your face today. I just want to ask you one thing. And I've got a lot of things to ask you. Kane Dingle. Had your eyes tested recently? It's about Ollie. I mean, Sean's no oil painting, is he? But Kane Dingle. What about Ollie, Mrs Reynolds? Did she stay here with you last night? And another thing. Were you off with Kane when your son was forcing himself on my daughter, eh? Were you? Mum, shut up! We haven't seen Ollie. She stayed at my house. She's all right. She slept on the sofa. Well, I have to talk to her. I don't think it's a good idea. I have to talk to her. Poor Ollie. Imagine having a mother like that. <sighs> what? Digestive problems? Well, what does that mean? It just means I need to rest. Well, do you need a special diet? Uh, any foods you should avoid? Jack, I've got irritable bowel syndrome brought on by stress, all right? Ah. Uh, so it's nothing serious? Well, you're making yourself ill by fretting over Bernice. I'm not fretting. I'm just concerned. You need a holiday. I'm not going anywhere. Well, if Ashley can go off on this retreat, then you can go away and get yourself fit again. And you'd be more used to Bernice if you're in decent shape yourself. Just tell me you'll consider it. All right, I'll think about it. In the meantime, I've got to get back to the wool pack. You're stopping here and you're putting your feet up. I'll see you, Jack. <sighs> Morning. Eric, how nice to see you. Helping Viv out, are you? Yeah, I'm a versatile man. I can turn my hand to a variety of jobs. Good. Uh, just this, uh, please. Although normally, of course, I'm used to working at a slightly higher level. Found a manager for the factory yet? Still looking. Uh, wait! I've resigned from Naughty Nylons. Appointed principal. 
working with Viv isn't, uh, might not be, in the long term... Bit of a nightmare, is it? <laughs> well, broadly speaking, uh, yes. And you want to work for me? Qualifications? Oh, well, many successful years as a salesman. Don't forget, I've already sold some surplus stock for you. Well, I'd say I've proved my worth. But no management skills. Well, people skills are my forte. Diplomacy with an underlying steely authority. I'll take you on for a trial period. Come by tomorrow evening and we'll arrange terms. We should drink to it. Yeah. Well, I'm just going over. I'll see you over there. You won't regret this. What went he regret? Oh, excellent news, my dove. I'm going to be working as Eric's new manager over at the factory. What about working here? Vivian, my cupcake. I, I'm, I'm like a, 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 I'm like a hawk with its wings clipped in this shop. I need space. I need the opportunity to soar among the clouds. In Eric Pollard's factory. There'll be more money in it. I'll still be working in the village. I'll spend all day missing you, and each evening I will come home hungry for your love. Ooh. <laughs> your mum. Tell her to get lost. Can't do that. Maybe you should. No, Danny, please get rid of her. Mr. Reynolds? I'd like to see Ollie, please. I just don't want to talk to you. I need to see him. I'm sorry, she said no. Is she alright? Ollie? Ollie, please. I'm sorry. To a successful partnership. Uh, uh, partnership isn't a term I'd choose to use. No? Uh, no. No, to your new manager. To my new manager on a trial period, a subject to agreeing to my terms, eh? Cheers. Cheers. Celebration, is it? In a very subdued sort of way, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like Eric. You're not one for exuberance, are you? More the cold, calculating type. <laughs> oh, this is all I need. What? Look, Zoe. Would you mind leaving us for a minute? I need to speak to Charity. I don't think Charity wants to speak to you. You owe me a few minutes of your time. Zoe, try and get this into your head. We're finished. Mm -mm. I don't accept it. Where's your self-respect? This stalking thing really doesn't suit you. Just get over it. So I'm not allowed to have a drink with you? No, you're not. Marlon, you joining us? It's hard, I don't mind if I do. Ah, here we are then. You two out the chattiest, don't you? Mark, you haven't said a word to your dad. He started all this. Mum's just made it ten times worse. Don't want to talk to either of them. Sean, I'm don't so... Don't bother. I'm worried about you. Yeah, you should be. Bring my stuff back from the house, will you? Sean. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Remember what I said, if you're wise, You'll do nothing for now. Are you all right? No, I'm not. She, she's just sitting there staring at me. It's creepy. Look, don't let her get to you. Ladies. Cheers, Marlon. Oh, Ta. Ta. Oh, maybe she should be sitting here. Why not? That's why. Hey, look, it's his problem. No reason for us to worry about it, right? Sure. Of course I am. Good. Because I've got to say, sitting with the two most gorgeous girls in the village is doing wonders for my ego. Oh, I'd say you're after a threesome. <laughs> You're joking, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, you could go and sit with them. Sorry? You're standing there like a shy teenager. You just go and join them. She's right. Not while Marlon's there. <laughs> Look at him sniffing after her. It's pathetic. Isn't being jealous and jumping to conclusions exactly how you got into this mess? Maybe. So perhaps you should try... I don't know, try trusting her. I wondered if you'd have the guts to come in. I know you don't want to talk to me. That's right. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to think about you. I don't want to see you. Still, here I am. You really think there's anything you can say to make this better? 
20 years we've been together, Sean. And we've had some fantastic times. And? And I don't want it to end with you hating me. I don't want it to end at all. All right. You've said what you want to say. Now go. Sean. I'm warning you. Leave now. Just talk to me. Talk. We had the chance to start again! We still do! Oh, no! It's gone! You've thrown it away. Are you happy now? No. No, I'm not. All I wanted, all I dreamed of was getting my family back together. I thought I'd done it. And then in marches came with that sick grin on his face. And then I find out that you have snatched it away from me. What exactly have I done, Sean? We were married when you had your affair. We weren't even together when I started seeing Kane. You let that maniac into our lives. He nearly killed my dad. And then he sleeps with my daughter just to get back at you. Oh, he loved it. Spitting in the face of me and my kids, he loved that. And now I am facing an ABH charge. What have you done? You've ruined my life. You're playing into his hands reacting like this. Oh. What, you think this is like heat of the moment stuff? It isn't. I spent last night in a cell, wide awake, thinking things through. I know exactly what I'm saying. I can't ever forgive you, Angie. Don't say that, Sean. Our marriage is over. I'm gonna divorce you. Yeah.